In this video, we're going to be displaying all our values to the view. And as you can see here, we're displaying everything in the console, and that, that's great. We know our method is working. And now we could use the Angular Directive ng4 to list everything out on the in the view for us. And that's what we'll take care of. And this link right here will be in the description. You'll find that below. And keep an eye out for the snippets. If you don't want to type everything out, you could just go click on that link and copy and paste everything. That will be in the description as well. Let's go and check out this link right here. And I have that right here. And here's a whole list of different directives you could use. I find myself using like ng if a lot as well as ng class. And we'll actually be visiting some of these later in, in later videos. But for now, we'll use the ng4 and that is right here. And to use that, if we go into our project and I have the value component HTML open, you could just go and put a slash then ng and then which one you have and as you can see here there's a whole list of them i'm going to use ng4 in this case and then you enter in the uh the name you can name it anything you want like value then tab and then that variable we created a couple of videos ago and i'll show you that in a second it's called values now actually let's go and see that if you hit alt and i think it's u it'll send you to the javascript file and then here I am um, returning the response from, from the API and I'm console logging it. That's why we're seeing it in the console. And then this variable right here, values, is being assigned to the response. And that's where I'm getting that right here. Now we can loop through everything that's in that array and uh, display whatever we want. There's a property in there called name. So I'll just say value.name. And this should work. So save this. Let's go and check it out in the view. If we go to the view and uh, restart it, get rid of this. And as you can see, we're looping through all our values and displaying it to the view. So that's great. Now that's just the first glance at directives. Like in the later videos, we're, we're definitely going to be visiting like ng if class or directive, the ng class directive, and also we'll be creating our own custom directives down the road. For now, it, this was a good first start. Now in the next video, we're gonna start pulling things into the application that we're gonna need. Like I'll, I was thinking of using Font Awesome for our icons. Also, it'd be nice to use Bootstrap. That will help us with some styling things, uh, make things go a little faster with, with styling. So we'll be pulling Bootstrap and Font Awesome in, in the next couple of videos. So I'll see you then.